Da -da -da -da. Hello guys, welcome back to the Ego Byte 83 channel where the past never dies. I am of course your host Ego Byte and it's a time for another episode of Full Motion Friday on account of this being a Friday. Uh, we will be continuing in Star Trek Starfleet Academy tonight and uh, yeah, I actually haven't really been uh, looking up my old episode from last week. Uh, I don't really remember anything. Yeah, I do remember we did the uh, Kobayashi Maru test and we're supposed to go undercover this time. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be interesting. I think we did the save in, like, number the first file, right? Uh, I'm just going to check this real quick. No, not Twitch. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How are you guys? How are you? Do tell while I'm looking this up. <clears throat> Once again, I have my two trusty bottles of water. I don't know why I picked Mountain Dew. I just... It's... I like the color of the bottle. It's also po uh, quite possible that I'm gonna go out a little bit later tonight, but I don't want to do that. Um, I don't want to um, uh, be out too late tonight, seeing as how we're gonna be uh, going to the sci-fi convention tomorrow, and I will be live streaming. And uh, still, I don't know for how long, but uh, but maybe a couple of minutes. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I just want to see which. Uh, which one I saved? Hey, Fart Knocker, welcome to the show. <laughs> uh, this log. Yeah, we're going to do that tomorrow. Uh, it's gonna be probably like around one o'clock Swedish time, so um, so annoying. It's so disorienting to hear my own voice from the from the phone. Uh, I just wanted to see which file I was saving in. I don't really need to do that though. I just mess around a little bit and see what what. Yeah. I'll just start up the game and see what happens. See what file I can... I think it's like file one or something. Uh, Alright, there we go. There we go. How are you, Farty? How are you? How are we? How are you? <laughs> How are you, man? And no, I have not been drinking. Um, let's see. There we go. Should work. There we go. Oh, right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Forgot one thing. I forgot one little thing. One little, little One little thing. Uh, I need to do this before I can see that. Actually. There we go. Let's uh, start the game again. There we go. Sickish today. Aw. In what? Like, what What do you come down with? Uh, what have you come down with? Like a cold or the flu? God forbid. Um, tell me. Alright, let's see if it's the first one. It should be the first one, though. Uh, yeah. There has been a disturbance on the Romulan Federation neutral zone. Several outposts set up to monitor the treaty zone have recently gone silent. Your mission is to check on outposts two and three and investigate the cause of their problem. Please note that this scenario is based on an actual incident. 
To reflect that, the ship you will be flying in will be based on the specs for a Constitution-class vessel, Stardate 1709. Captain's Log, Stardate 4055.4. Two of the outposts along the Romulan and Federation neutral zone have gone silent. We are about to investigate the first of the two outposts. Outpost 2. Why did the Romulans are at the bottom of this? That seems probable. Romulans tend to be very aggressive in their tactics. And sneaky. Well then, we better keep our heads about us. Course laid in, Captain. It's so interesting. Um, we're going to investigate these outposts. Outpost 1 and 2. We're going to go to the first one, outpost, outpost 2. Why don't you go to outpost 1? Like... Um, I want to see what the other uh, um, save files had for me. In this scenario, you are to go to Gamma 3 and pick up supplies of food and water to deliver to Meridian 4. Yeah, we did that, Be right? Be careful, cadet. I think so. Gamma 3 lies close to, to the, the Klingon thing on neutral zone. zone. Okay, Captain's yeah. Captain's log We started. did that. We did that. We did that. Exit. And just want to check... I don't think there was any, like, cutscene or anything last time. I just want to make sure... Oh! Cadet's log. There was! Well, every cadet failed the Kobayashi Maru. And spirits were pretty low. Even though we knew that was supposed to happen. I hate to lose. I hate to lose. Enter. Cadet Forrester reporting as requested, sir. Right, right, right. This is the where we get that on the cover mission. Show signs of tampering. Uh, explain your performance in the Kobayashi Maru scenario, Mr. Forrester. I reprogrammed the simulator, sir. Why did you cheat? <laughs> uh, you should make a save that is only for saving at end of stream. Yeah, exactly. I, I think I I am on board with that. I think that is the uh, uh, f the first file, like uh, Ego Byte 1 or whatever. Uh, it's just that sometimes I mess things up and I actually save in the wrong file. But I just wanted to make that uh, clear. Also, look at this. Look at his hair. It's grossly, like, cut out. It's like a cookie cutter. Look at it. It looks like somebody has, like, photoshopped him badly. This is a bad green screen effect. Oh, my lord. Uh... <laughs> Oh, a cough. A cough? Is it like a dry cough or anything? Or is it a wet cough? Because a wet cough can indicate like bronchitis, um, the flu, you know, like an onset of a variety of things. Wet coughs are not good. That's what happens with old green. Yeah, I, I think so too. Actually though, uh, didn't they used to use like blue screens? And I'm not talking about the Windows error report screens. I'm talking about, like, legit. They had blue screens instead of green screens uh, back in the day. I don't know if it's still being used today, but never mind. Uh, because I don't believe in a no-win scenario, sir! Because I don't believe in the no-win scenario, sir. Cheating by reprogramming the simulator does not necessarily violate <clears throat> the letter of the law, but it does violate everything we've been trying to teach you. Uh, therefore, we have decided to take disciplinary action. Uh oh. Very well. I accept your judgment. I accept your judgment, sir. However, before we decide what to do with you, we must uh, resolve another problem. Cadet Forrester, what would you be prepared to do to clear Sturrock's name? Fly a garbage scow against a battle cruiser, sir. I'd fly a garbage scow against the battle cruiser, sir. It won't take that much sacrifice. We're just going to put you on probation and let it be known that you're about to be expelled from the academy. What? David. David. We believe Zurich is innocent. But there is evidence to indicate that one of your crew members may have been involved in this incident. Involved? Cadet Brady is confirmed as being in the engineering library at the time his access codes were used. We doubt if he's the one who set the bomb. At ease, Cadet. To find out who, we'd like to have you undertake a covert mission for us. Yeah. We'll 
explain that you're on probation. We'll tell the cadets that we found some vital clue as to the identity of the bomber and um, <laughs> that we're examining it in the science lab's compound <laughs> analysis section. Then you get to complain about how unfairly the Academy has treated you. Hint that you're looking for a way to get back at us. A lot of the cadets know you've been working with me on the simulators and that you have access to the lab. Now keep in mind, cadet, that if you agree to assist us, you cannot talk to your team about this mission. So, what do you think? Are you ready to take on the challenge? No, sir. I'm not the right person for this job. I'm just a cheap. Of course. Yes, sir. Congratulations, cadet. You are now officially on probation. Dismissed. All right. So, if I continue here, will that lead into the food mission or the one that I actually saved at? I think it would be the one that I saved at Eagle Byte Zero One. I'm going to check that. I'm just going to see what <laughs> Farty's saying. You cheated! Yes! Well, Farty, how... how uh, haven't you, like, caught up with your uh, Star Trek lore? You're supposed to cheat when you get to Kobayashi Maru. That's how Kirk did it, you know? <laughs> They did use blue. Yeah, I know. Uh, that was actually like sort of like the standard back then. It's a little bit weird. I, I wonder why they don't like use... I guess they want to use like uncommon colors. Why don't they use like bright neon pink or something, you know? Um, he used a loophole, not cheat. That's uh, a new thing. Well, actually, uh, Kirk left instructions in in this game, apparently. And uh, I, I only followed what Kirk did. And if they're saying that I cheated, then logically, Kirk must have cheated. Uh, <laughs> oh, a dry, dry cough? All right, well, it should be good then. Just drink plenty of fluids, all right? There has been a disturbance on the Romulan Federation neutral zone. Yeah, good. Several good. outposts set up to monitor the treaty zone have recently gone silent. Your mission is to check on outposts two and three and investigate the cause of their problem. Please note that this oh. scenario is based two on and an three. Incident. I thought it was one and two. Okay. To reflect that, the ship you will be flying in will be based on the specs for a Constitution class vessel, star date 1709. Captain 1709 Enterprise. Two of the outposts along the Romulan and Federation neutral zone have gone silent. We are about to investigate the first of the two outposts. All right. Outpost two. You think the Romulans are at the bottom of this? That seems probable. Romulans tend to be very aggressive in their tactics. And sneaky. Well then, we'd better keep our heads about us. Go yes, sir. in, Captain. Actually, I am Forrester, so yeah. Uh, shall we go and configure our uh, power output accordingly immediately or not? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Where is the... Oh, energy. There. Good. Okay. Uh, warp down to one. There we go. Lock that in place. All right. Actually, we can just do this. Phasers. Photons, no, 100. Thank you. Uh, tractor beam down to. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> Excuse me. Uh, shields, very good. And life support, very good. Okay, good. There we go. Just want to make sure that my change is stuck. Good, very good. Hey, fortifier! FMV Friday Hype! That's right, man! That is right! Welcome back to the channel. How are you, Fortifier? How are you? Alright, let's see. Uh, we're just gonna go check on an outpost, correct? Alright. Course laid in. Here we go. <laughs> there 
is nothing unusual to report, Captain. Uh... There are only asteroids here. Or maybe not. Wait, wait there's something... Scanning. There is nothing unusual to report, Captain. Can't really target anything, or can I? Nope. Maybe there's nothing here. Uh. There's only like a couple of asteroids. Why haven't you plotted the course? There is nothing unusual to report, Captain. Alright. Next. Next. Okay, there, there's still nothing here. I am not following here. There is no outpost or anything. But if I can't scan, then how are we supposed to trigger in the next... Hmm. Doing well, actually packing for the move. You're gonna move? Oh! From where to where? Do tell, man. Do tell. While I look this up in the walkthrough, I actually have no idea what to do now because there's like no enemies, no indication of what I can do, there's nothing to target. I kind of have to look this up. I am I am a little bit stumped here. Star Trek Starfleet Academy Walk Through Destin, Florida to Las Vegas, Nevada. Why would you move to Las Vegas? That's the one city that has no purpose for being like <laughs> no but seriously man wh what are you gonna do in Las Vegas have you like got a new job or something cool by the way cool with like big changes that's awesome um Starfleet there you go Steam community let me see which mission is this I think it is like hold on uh This is... Okay, here we are. Balance of Terror. In this mission, we'll re recreate a famous TOS episode. Your task to review systems S-1421 and S-1422 for Romulan Incursion. So we're supposed to go to Yellow Alert, apparently. They didn't say that in, in the uh, mission briefing or anything. Navigate over to your engineering station. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, we've we'll done that. Warp to system S1421. Course already laid in. Scan outpost 2. There's no outpost 2. Hold on. Oh my god! I accidentally uh, pushed the wrong button. Okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I, you gotta love it. But, I mean, come on. It looks like an asteroid. If it looks like an asteroid, it smells like an asteroid, and it talks like an asteroid, it has to be an asteroid. Uh, let's see. Not my choice. I'm being assigned to the 57th Aircraft Maintenance Squadron, and I'll be working at a unit called Tomahawk, which specializes in the Weapons Academy for F-16 and F-15s. Pretty much, it's Top Gun, but for the Air Force. Yeah, Top Gun, isn't that like... That's called something else, like Red something, if I'm not mistaken. Something with Red, I think. I actually discussed that with an American uh, pretty recently. Um, maintenance Squadron. So are you, are you sort of like the Tinkerer? The one who, like, you know, tinkers with the aircraft. You're, you're not flying the aircraft, are you? 
and I don't mean that like, oh, so you're not a pilot. I don't mean that. I just, uh, I'm just curious. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Moist. It's the Navy, and you are thinking of Red Flag, which is hosted at Nellis, which is where I'm being stationed. Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah, somebody told me that uh, that Top Gun, like Red Flag, is for the Air Force, what Top Gun is for the Navy, something like that. I don't really have any insight to that, but it was a little bit interesting to discuss that. All right, so. Let's continue. Scan the outp outpost. Sensors show that Outpost 2 has been decimated, Captain. <gasps> there are no life signs on the asteroid. What kind of force could have done something like that? Course laid in, Captain. Oh, finally. Now we get a... Um... Oh, here we go. Avionic systems craftsman. Oh, a fixed electronic warfare systems. Global positioning for the communications and navigation. Ah, oh. up delivery, fire control, computing, and more. Man, that's a lot to keep track of. <laughs> I would be so out of my field there. <laughs> cool. So, how long are you going to be stationed there? Like, do you is the is there like a time limit, or is this uh, like forever? <laughs> All right, go to warp, Mister Mister. What was his name? Oh, I can't believe I I actually have had all their names written down go to go to warp mr miss oh it's actually her go to warp mrs uh helm i don't know it's ridiculous law average assignment is two years minimum they wanted to send me to osan air base which is south korea yeah, you weren't down with that, were you? You told him, no. Just no. <laughs> Alright, Outpost 3. There you go. Scan. The outpost is completely destroyed, Captain. I'm that picking up a well. distress signal from the Cation freighter Hazardi. It is being attacked by a Klingon ship. The All the freighter were on our way. Course oh. laid in, Captain. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Alright, red alert. Miss Hairbun. <laughs> now entering a Nancy system. Captain, I am detecting the remains of a freighter in this system. Transmission override from the heavy cruiser, Captain. What? Federation, die like the Quahom you are. That's all, Captain. That means they're gonna attack, I guess. Um. I would have if my wife wasn't six months pregnant. Okay, so you you would have gone to South Korea. Is it like uh, a particular attractive place to be stationed at? Like I have no idea. I I don't know. Maybe, maybe you want to go see that place. I don't know. That's awesome. Um, but good on good on your wife and good on your pregnancy and all that. I hope everything works out and uh, with that big time, man. Big time. Congratulations. Oh, you love Korea. Okay. Korea's along the top assignments I've ever had. Oh, so you've been there before. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Well, hope you uh, hope you get your uh, chance to go over there once more. Alright, target. There's no response, Captain. Should we attack them? Yes, we probably should. But I mean, that's not the... the okay, they took the first shot. Four shields down to 50%. Four shields critical, sir. <laughs> Four shields have been hit. Half shields have been hit. Lower shields repaired. Upper shields have been hit. Boom! Got him. Alright, let's check out this. Uh... Captain, we're getting a distress signal from Outpost 4. <gasps> Outpost 4, this is Captain David Forrester of the USS Ranger. Who is attacking you? 
We're not... Uh, we're not sure. Some shippy punched straight through our deflector shield with some kind of plasma energy weapon, but then disappeared. He won't respond to our surrender. Captain, if you can hurry, please, please hurry, Captain. All right. Cloaked Romulan. Those Romulan bastards. We lost him, Captain. Course laid in, Captain. Uh, Forward well, shields online. Why is the debris marked as an enemy? Like, why? What? Okay. That's weird. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I was stationed down in Kunsan Air Base in the Jolabukdo province. Okay. Cool. Cool. <laughs> was that a long time ago, or was it, like, uh, uh just a few years ago or something? <clears throat> Let's see if we can find this Romulan bastard. Captain, sensors indicate that a Romulan bird of prey is approaching fast. Alright, uh... Forward shields repaired. The Romulans aren't responding, sir. Really? There's no answer to our hail, sir. There's no answer to our hail, sir. Alright, where's the Romulan? He is... He should be... Sh He's gone! Oh, that's right, he cloaked. Sir, the Romulan ship has cloaked. Yeah. I can, however, use motion sensors to detect approximately where they are located. Didn't we do this before? I think so. Come on. Wait a minute. Is Storic with us? Because Storic, isn't he supposed to be, like, held or... Was he arrested, or was he in... No, he was in sick bay? I don't remember. Is he with us again? That's weird. Uh, 13 to 14. Ah, oh, it was my second assignment. This assignment coming up will be my fifth. Cool. Nice. You're on mute. But just wanted to say hi. I'm on mute? What? You can't hear me? That's weird. But I think uh, I think Fortifier is hearing me. I think Fartknocker is hearing me as well. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Jesus, I was like, what? Have I done something wrong again? You know? <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I read, reread it myself. Yeah, it was like a little bit. Okay, well. Hey, CNET. Thank you for stopping by. You're always welcome. <laughs> You're at work. Okay, okay. That's awesome, man. Maybe I should do, like, hand sign signals or something. <laughs> Alright, well. That's awesome. Um, all right, fair enough. Let's uh, let's see if uh, Stork can be of any use to us. Wait, is he here? Yeah, he's here. Look at that. Weird. Okay. All right. All right. Find uh, find the thing. How do you do that? I don't remember. Uh, hold on. All, all stop. Let's see what the uh, trusty walkthrough says. If I can activate that somehow. Uh, scan outpost four while the Warmon ship is coming for you. Okay. Okay. V then A to target. V A. Okay. Um, outpost four. Let's see. There we go. Scan it. Long range scanners show that outpost four has been destroyed, sir. All right. So, 
doesn't really say anything else. It says, hail the Roman ship, you'll get no response. Yeah, that's what I did. Scan outpost 4 while the Roman ship is coming for you. I've already done that now. Full impulse, never slow down in this encounter. When the Romulan decloaks, press V, then A to target the cloaking device. Okay, fine, that's that's good to know. Oh, wait, is that... Something else showed up on the radar, or LiDAR, or whatever are. Um, but, yeah, okay. Um, this is a little bit weird. Stork, can we... Uh, why aren't you saying anything? I don't know. Like, I remember this from a previous a previous mission. And he was constantly telling me that we're sensing something from... from... from this direction and that direction. Right now, he doesn't seem to say anything. Which is a little bit weird. Um... Training sucks. I work from home. Okay. We are all just really good at beard reading. Beard reading. Okay. <laughs> uh, come on. I want to know what to do. Like... Control energy allocation, hail, view objectives. Oh, okay. Stop Romulans. Okay, yeah, I'd, I'd like to do that, but I don't know how to detect the Romulan. He said something and then nothing. So we're going to be able to cloak and decloak. Are you serious? Where is power transponder launch probe? Toggle radar range. Scan target. Tractor target. Next. Pre uh. I don't know, actually. This is a little bit interesting. Why I can't... I mean, it doesn't even say anything else here. Let's go back to uh, the outpost. Oh, I'm already there. Okay. Try to scan Long-range scanners indicate that the Romulan is heading back towards the neutral zone. Oh, really? Well, where is he? Just point me in the right direction, Storak. Like, I'm not seeing him anywhere. Really interesting. <laughs> Blow him out of the sky or whatever. Pew pew pew. Uh, we're all... Hey, Scrub Lord! 1337, welcome to the show! Are called sensors, not whatever are. But I mean, I'm using the sensors. Can't really target anything. I can't do anything else. This is a little bit weird. Huh. Yeah, I can't find them anywhere. I... It would actually maybe help if I could hear what Sturrock said once more. Like... I don't know. I don't know. Okay, that walkthrough was a bust. Let's see if we can find another one that can explain this a little bit better. 
Oh, no, that's the Nightcaster walk walkthrough, actually. We don't need that anymore. Um, Star Trek, Starfleet Academy. Steam community was a bust. Okay, so we'll go for game facts. And this mission was called something or other. Terror. We should be able to uh, get a straight answer here. We are on mission 15, I think. Yeah, balance of terror, okay. Freighters being attacked by lone Klingon bird of prey, even though the enemy should be easy to defeat, minimize damage because you will be going into battle against another enemy shortly. This one. After you rescue the freighter, you will get a distress signal from another Federation outpost. Rescue the freighter? It was completely toast when I got there. Um, you will get a distress signal from another Federation outpost, Outpost 4, and you will also see a cutscene with the base being attacked by Romulan ship. We did see that. After the cutscene, warp to the base and prepare to engage the Romulans. When you battle the Romulans, you should not destroy them. I read, read sources that say if you destroy the Romulans, you will fail the mission. This did not happen to me, though. Instead, like, what? Uh, I think we need to restart this mission. There's, like, nothing going on here. There has been a... Captain's yeah, I know, I know. You think the Romulans are at the bottom of this? That seems probable. Romulans tend to be very aggressive in their tactics. And sneaky. Well then, we'd better keep our heads about us. Course laid in, Captain. There we go. Good. Thank you. Alright, let's listen up here. Let's listen up when he... Uh, uh, that's after the uh, the first battle, but still. Hey, Freppy! Welcome to the show, man. Nice to have you here. By the way, Freppy, are you... Uh, have you decided what to do tomorrow? You want to go with me to the sci-fi con? During the course of your mission, your ship was lost. That is an automatic failing grade. I'm afraid you're going to have to repeat the mission. <laughs> Your score is inadequate. You'll have to repeat the mission. All right, fine. Jeez, don't be so dramatic. There has been a disturbance on the... Captain's log, Stardate. You think the Romulans are at the bottom of this? That seems probable. Romulans tend that to be very just aggressive too... in tactics. And sneaky. Well, too then, funny. we'd better keep our heads too funny. Of course, <laughs> laid in, Captain. Boom! Uh, there we go, and there we go. <laughs> oh lord! <laughs> Where's the Harry Beast and Golden Pip Pip Pip? What? And Mr. Zulu, Spark, and Kevin Picard. Okay, you're throwing a lot of Star Trek, uh, um, you know, Star Trek lore on top of each other, you know. Take it easy, man. <laughs> um, let's go. And tr let's try not flying straight into an asteroid this time. I think that is a step in the right direction, so to speak. All right, Outpost 2, scan. Sensors show that Outpost 2 has been decimated, Captain. There are no life signs on the asteroid. All right, let's what move on. What kind of force could have done something like that? Huh? Course laid in, Captain. Thank you. I skip it. I don't have so much. Aw, that's too bad. Am I going to have to go alone, then? Uh, maybe that's for the best if I'm going to stream anyway. You guys are going to be with me. Um. Okay. Outpost three. Scan. The outpost is completely destroyed, Captain. I'm picking up a distress signal from the Cation freighter Hazardi. 
It is being attacked by a Klingon ship. Tell the freighter we're on our way. Course laid in, Captain. Go, 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 go. Professor X. Now entering the Nazi system. There is no response, Captain. All right, where is Captain, he? Captain, I'm detecting the remains of a freighter in this system. Well, I can't help that. Transmission override from the heavy cruiser, Captain. Federation law. Die like the Gohom you are. That's all, Captain. All right, let's take him down. Forward shields have been hit. Forward shields down to fit. That shield system is damaged. Air crews are working. Crews are working as well. Warp engines are critical. That shield system is damaged, Captain. Repair crews are working on it. Oh, no. Oh no. Online. Uh Captain, we're getting a distress signal from Outpost 4. Outpost 4, this is Captain David Forrester of the USS Ranger. I actually Who flew into him. We're not I think we're going to have to wait sure. and repair. Some ship punched straight through our deflector shield with some kind of plasma energy weapon, but then disappeared. Respond to our surrender. Captain, if you can hurry. Please. Please hurry, Captain. It even sounds like a Star Trek episode. We lost him, Captain. Course laid in, Captain. Alright, hold on. First of all... More shields online. Yeah, you know what? More shields online. We are going to have to wait until we are repaired. Readying photon tubes. We're gonna have to wait a little bit here before... Like, we're gonna have to wait until all these indicators are in the green. They are constantly My being... System online. They're Users are operational quiet, here, Brady. I'm talking. They are constantly being, like... They, they go from red to yellow to green. And, uh... It might take a little bit... Forward while, shields repaired. Uh, a little time. Um, so guys, shields repaired. what are you going to be doing this, uh, this, uh, weekend? What are your plans? Do tell. I am very interested in hearing your plans. Ah. Whew. Same special effects as in the series. By the way, shout out to my friend Simon yet again. Um, he actually gave me a laptop, an old laptop from 2011, but still, um, and that will hopefully uh, enable me to uh, use the chat over there when I uh, pl when I stream on my consoles. Uh, rather than having to move the secondary screen over there, so actually I could, I could actually moving, I could actually be moving the screen up back there where it belongs. Uh, I just haven't done that yet. <laughs> Seeing Neil, Neil Gaiman Sunday evening. What's Neil Gaiman, and how do I get one? I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but actually I don't know who that is. Uh, who, who's he? Card maneuver once again. There we go. Oh, does energy energy allocation, like power allocation, affect um, repair rate? Like the time it takes for the systems to be repaired. Because, look at this. 
This was quickly done. This was quickly done. These were quickly done. Quick, quickly done. Although this one, sensors, were, was also pretty... <gasps> Excuse me. Also pretty... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do this. Let's try it. Let's, let's just see what happens. If we pull them all up to... Uh, 100... Hold on. There we go. There we go. And... There we go. Oh, look at that. Now they're suddenly... Uh, they're not red anymore. Well, that's cool. I didn't know that. Um, a rider of Sandman Good Omens. Coraline. Okay. We've completed repairs on the tractor beam, sir. Sorry, I, I, I've never heard of that. <laughs> but cool. Cool. We've completed repairs on the warp drive, sir. What the hell? Yeah, look at this. Awesome. Okay, okay, good. Good, 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 good. Alright, impulse and shields to the max. Warp. We don't need to have warp. Maxed out the warp. Um, tractor beam. We don't need to max out the tractor beam either. Uh, that one, though. Yes. And... Good. Alright. Sh okay, shields need to be maxed. Maxed out. Impulse. No, that doesn't really need to be maxed out. Sensors, not really. Um, life support, max out. There we go. That's the usual configuration we want to go for. Max out on the lowest three, and then you have... 1%, uh, 1%, although there are 2% now. Um, and then max out shields and life support as well. Impulse and sensors don't really matter. They can go anywhere. We just don't need full energy allocation to warp or tractor beam. As long as they work. Alright. So, let's try to do this one more time, shall we? Here we go. Now let's listen to what Sturek says. Captain, sensors indicate that a Romulan bird of prey is approaching fast. Alright. There is nothing unusual to report, Captain. The Romulans aren't responding, sir. And they've gone to... Now they're cloaked. Okay. So Sir, the Romulan ship has cloaked. I can. I can, however, use motion sensors to detect approximately where they are located. Motion sensors. Okay. Long-range scanners show that Outpost 4 has been destroyed, sir. Ooh. There he is. No, I saw him. I saw him. I saw him. There you are, you bastard. Lower shields have been hit. Lower shields down to 50%. Got him. Okay, okay, okay. Good. At least now we're we're getting somewhere. about the motion sensors Captain the Romulan ship has decloaked off the port bow Very good Oh okay Forward shields repaired Captain the Romulan ship has gone silent Motion sensors pick up nothing Why didn't he tell us about this last time He must have glitched must have sort of glitch muted or something.
Captain, the Romulan ship has decloaked off the starboard side. Yeah, see him. Oh, that shield system is damaged, Captain. Repair I didn't hit him. Damn. It. I actually uh, pressed the wrong button. Come on, come on. Upper shields online. That's that's this also a solution, you know. Fire on your orders. Lower shields online. That was that was cool. I have to say. online again. Ready to fire on your orders. <laughs> oh lord. Upper shields repaired. I just flew straight into him. That's also a way to uh, complete your mission. Uh, let's see. This one then. To oh damn it! I failed the mission. I failed the mission! I was supposed to disable the cloak, I think. Aww. Um. Yeah. We've completed repairs on the tractor beam, sir. Lower shields repaired. All right, let, let me see. Um, what happens if I go to warp? Uh, I guess we just hail and see what they say. Hailing frequency open. But I, 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 I would wager that I failed the mission because, uh, you're supposed to disable the cloaking device or something like that. Uh, all right. Mission accomplished, Starfleet. Congratulations. What? You have dealt with overwhelming odds in a manner consistent oh. with the best traditions of Starfleet. Wait a minute. Okay. That's weird because the... <laughs> the walkthrough says that you're supposed to disable... Okay, never mind. You know what? I'm not going to question when the game gives me a free pass. It's like, okay, fine. You know what? Okay, if you say so, fine. <laughs> you know? All right, save. There you go. Overwrite, yes. <laughs> that was just weird. All right, guys, uh, let's continue. Here we go. Here, here goes the uh, rest of the movie. It's not right. It's just not fair. We have to do something. David, one thing I've learned is that sometimes you have to bend the letter of the law to learn the spirit of the law. Exactly. What if the evidence against you were to disappear? No. I won't let the rest of you get expelled to try to help me. Well, 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 Forrester. Guess this makes you a civilian again. You're about a millisecond away from sudden death, Milan. We were just leaving. We don't want to break up your pity party. Look, mm -hmm. you guys better get going. You have to prepare for your sim tonight, okay? Yeah. Everything's going according to plan. Faith. Can I sit? Sure. You know what? I I'm willing to bet that the resident cock tease is the, like, the mole or I something. I heard about what the command staff did do. They're completely unfair. I know. Look, David, I've got a problem, too. I visited Robin the day before the explosion, and I spotted a schematic for a homemade bomb. You think Robin planted the bomb? No, she did. She has to. She... When I heard they found some new evidence, I was worried. I don't want to see anything happen to Robin. David, we got to break into that lab and see if they have any real evidence against him. Now, you know the lab's access code, and I know where to look for the evidence. I mean, it's it's pretty obvious that she is at least 
involved somehow. Maybe she's the bomber, or maybe she is, like, at least somebody who gave access to the bomber, because, I mean, she did, she, she was, like, like, Robin was interested in her, and she was in a perfect position to take advantage of that, and also, she's just too pretty. I mean, I don't trust pretty women. Um, let's see, I miss the drunk Irish Russian guy. What? Drunk Irish Russian guy. Oh, you mean um uh Irish Russian guy. He's not he's not a You mean Chekhov, do you? Or or what do you mean, Freppy? <laughs> Chekhov isn't Irish. <laughs> um Well, I don't, Farty. I don't. I mean Pretty women tend to make me attracted to them, and I don't like that. It leaves me in a considerable amount of, like, no, it's it's a it's a huge disadvantage. And like, normal people are supposed to be on the level, you know. I can't I can't like connect if I'm like there, you know. <laughs> I distrust them like by nature, uh, but also I mean logically. She hasn't really given us any reason to distrust her. It's sort of like the typical tool of a writer that it's the one you least expect it to be. And it, she also is in the perfect position because seeing as how it's Robin that has been implemented, she could have easily gotten Robin's, like, uh, what was it, like security code or whatever. Uh, just by manipulating him. Oh, Robin, I like you. Could you show me how this computer works? <laughs> you know, it's... I, In my opinion, I'm betting that it's her on some level. Um, you know? <laughs> exactly. Don't like being attracted to pretty women. No, I don't. I don't want to be attracted because that is... It's so annoying. It is an annoyance that should be dealt with. Um, Ivan Fitzpatrick is his name for now. Preppy. What? <laughs> I know it's Friday and all, but have you been drinking? <laughs> Ivan Fitzpatrick, that is his name now, okay? What did you call me? <laughs> Uh, okay, let's break into the lab, or I'm sorry, Faith, but I'm just not interested. I think that we are supposed to, I mean, now I'm talking lore-wise here, uh, we're s probably supposed to join her in her little misadventure, because that would put us in a perfect position to see her true agenda, or at least get closer to her, not in that way, uh, but just to see what she's all about. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna say, okay, let's break into the lab. Just just a hunch. Let let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Only water, okay. Alright, let's see. Okay. Let's break into the lab. Good. Okay. Um I'll meet you tonight after our nebula analysis seminar. Perfect. Okay, great, I'll see you then. See you, Faith. Ooh, the ominous music. Interesting. Okay, so this wasn't an automatic failure, like an automatic game over, so I'm guessing we're on the right track, basically. Um, right, I'm gonna save to number two here. Just because I, I'm not, I'm still not entirely sure, but I think so. Um, there we go. There we go. Good. All right, let's continue. Welcome, class. For the next few weeks, Commander Chekhov will be your guest instructor. Commander? Here he is, Fitzpatrick. Greetings, class. <laughs> we have a very touchy situation to take care of here. A very? Four days ago, a lone vessel ventured into Romulan space and managed to steal a very important artifact. According to the Romulan government, they tracked the thief here to Federation space. 
The Romulans have sent an ambassador under a flag of truce to meet with you to search for this missing item. The okay. Romulan ambassador will meet you outside the Piaci system, and from there, you are to go meet a man named Taros Greenley. Rumor has it he can be found orbiting the first planet of the system. Good luck, cadets. And remember, try not to make the Romulan mad. Wait, we're supposed to... Captain's log, start eight four one seven right. one point seven. let's recap. We're en route to question a man by the name of Taros Greenley, and to meet a Romulan ambassador. Hopefully we'll find what we need to be able to wrap this up quickly. So this Thoros Green Greedly, is he like our main suspect? I didn't really catch that. <laughs> you made a clip? Really? <laughs> I'm gonna have to check that later. <laughs> what? What's so what's so epic about that statement? I mean I don't like pretty women. I don't like being attracted to women. <laughs> okay, that was wrong. I want to maintain, you know, composure. I want to be, you know, like Mr. Mr. Cool, you know? I don't I don't want to And then you, it, it just never fails. It happens anyway, and that is so annoying. <laughs> Every time. Uh Really? Okay. Yeah, okay, you can just go to... Yeah, whatever. Um, okay, so, let's see. Where... Yeah, let's do that. Farty, um, just... Uh, like, I hope you are getting better soon. Hope you're feeling better soon. Hope you will feel better soon. Um, if I didn't say that. And, yeah. Remember to drink lots of fluids. <coughs> I actually did, uh, I did some badminton today, and I felt, I also felt like, you know, that feeling you get in the back of your throat when you when you're about to get a cold. And, like, it's difficult to swallow and everything. It's... I don't know. I haven't been sick for for, for a while now. Ever since that god-awful, like, pollen season. Which was record-breaking over here. Um, but, yeah. So, take care of yourself, man. I want my... I want my mod to be up to speed. Or up to... Up to... Uh, up to 100%. Alright, so... Course let in, let's go. <sighs> There's a planet there. There are several planets here. Sir, we're being hailed by the leader of Piachi 2. She says that it's urgent. On screen. Hello. I am Jasmine Lee, president of the Piachi 2 colony. How may I be of service? It's good to speak to you, President Lee. I'm Captain David Forrester of the USS Ranger, and my communications officer said that you wish to speak to me. Yes, Captain. You have our complete cooperation. However... What, President? Certain factions within Piachi 2 have issues with the Romulans. Their feelings run deep. Can we expect any trouble? From those that follow my law, of course not. But there are more passionate people who might risk inappropriate action. Thank you for your warning, President. I do this out of generosity for the Federation, Captain. Wonderful. Sturrock, any sign of a Romulan friend? No, Captain. Sir, a Romulan warbird is decloaking. Jesus! Straight in our crosshairs as well. This is Captain David Forrester of the USS Ranger. I'm here to- I know why you're here, Captain. Believe me, neither of us want to be here. I propose that we simply try to get this over as quickly as possible. I have a few questions. I have neither the authority nor the inclination to answer your pathetic questions. But you do we have the prissiness. We need to find a and prevent a war between our worlds. Captain, I am scanning for the freighter we seek. It is orbiting the first planet of the system. Course laid in, Captain. Jesus. 
Captain, there are three ships coming our way. What? Holy crap. Civilian Captain, freighters. Captain, the freighter is hailing us. My okay. name is Harmony White. I've come on behalf of the people of Piachi 2. If you'll forgive me, Miss White, didn't we just talk to your leader, President Lee? Lee is a fool. She would let those butchers into the system. What butchers are you referring to? The Romulans, Romulans of course. I order you, in the name of the people of Piachi 2, to hand over the creature this instant. Order? No Federation personnel need be harmed if you comply. You... Excuse me? You order me? Are you... The, the nerve! She's not a Federation. I mean, okay, maybe they're a part of the Federation, but she's not in Starfleet. Order! Who the heck? Okay. Never mind. I, that actually got me a little bit wound up. Uh, I don't have to listen to this. What will you do if I hand over the Romulan? Listen, just calm down and, and let's talk about this. Okay, this is obviously not the right choice. This is not Captain... This is not a Captain's authority. Listen, just calm down and, and let's talk about this. Uh, that's more like a... Like a... Sniveling psychologist or something. Uh, what will you do? What will you do if I hand over the Romulan? Uh, I don't have to listen to this. I don't think this is the right way to go either, because uh, I don't have to listen to this shows a pretty big, like, lack of diplomacy skills. I mean, it's pretty blunt. What will you do if I hand over the Romulan? I think this is the only course of action. I mean, this is in this is like us inquiring. Um, and then we'll take like a stand uh, standpoint whether or not they are they say they're gonna kill him or whatever. Oh, same guy making fun of your words. <laughs> okay, I'll see you about getting better. Yeah, you do that. Lots of fluids. Like, remember, water bottle bottles, water bottles, hydration. All right. So, let's see what they say. Listen, what will you do? What will you do if I hand over the Romulan? What else does one do with such a waste of flesh? We're going to kill it. Okay, we listen, need to kill just him. Calm down and, and let's talk about this. No, I don't have to listen to this. <laughs> I don't have to listen to this. And my offer is rescinded. I'm going to kill you. All right. Attack. All right, kill. <laughs> Forward shields repaired. Wait, no, that's not them. This is the one. There you go. Crystals are realigned, Captain. Warp drives. Upper shields have been hit. Lower shields have been hit. Lower shields have been hit. I have to say, life support has been hit. This. Shield system is damaged, Captain. Okay, okay. Working on it. I have to say something, and it's the fact that uh, this game is pretty cool. But one thing that annoys me is Brady's constant like announcement about, oh, you've been hit there. Oh, you've been hit here. This shield is almost critical. This shield. Like, and oh, the warp crystals is realigned. It's constant, and don't get me wrong, I love the, f so the sort of immersion it gets me into. I love the fact that it's actually very realistic. It's realistically portrayed. Like, you need to hear this, uh, because it's sort of like a real-time update of what's going on. Where are we? Where have we been hit and whatnot? But it is annoying as all hell. Like... It happens way too much. Hey, Grusuva, welcome back to the show, man. Nice to have you here. You have actually entered right in the middle of a battle. Upper shields have been hit. Completed repairs on the track. Port side shields have been hit. Yeah, okay. Port side shields are. Port's lower shields are a critical, sir. No, they're not. Lower shields are a critical, sir. Lower shields are a critical, sir. No, they're not. Lower shields are a critical, sir. No, they're not. 
tracking tubes have been hit. Completed repairs on the tra photon tubes have been hit. Completed repairs on the photon tubes have been hit. Completed repairs on the photon tubes have been hit. Forward shields down to 50. The hell? Upper shields have been hit. Life support is critical. Upper shields repaired. Oh crap. All right, last one. You should probably surrender. Okay, fine. <clears throat> gotcha. She says that she is busy at the moment. All right. No response, Captain. Oh. Hey, Firehawk 2764. Welcome to the show. Nice to have you here and hope to see more of you in the future. Feel free to partake in our extremely civilized and mature conversation in chat. Uh, <laughs> I want to know a funny thing. Lower shields are being hit. No, no kidding. No kidding. Uh, speaking of that, by the way, let's go check our energy allocation. Um, yeah, obviously shields are, have been hit. Um, let's uh, pull up the energy. Allocation there, good. No, that actually needs to. Eh. Okay. We might take some energy from the photons. There we go. And life support. Alright. Let's just wait a little bit before um, before we continue because we need to be rip fully repaired. Ha. <laughs> what? What do you mean, ha, Farty? <laughs> well, gone through the first bottle. Got one more to go. Man, 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 man. The warp drives are fit as a fiddle now, Captain. Nicely done. Uh, Alright, we might as well uh, do that. There we go. Fit as a fiddle. <laughs> what? Who says that? Come on. Um, impulse doesn't need to be locked to max. That's good. That's good. That's very good. That's actually exactly where we need them to be. I'm just going to wait a little bit before port side shields will be, or lower shields will be uh, up to 100%. Repair. Or has it actually been damaged beyond repair? No. Can't be. Uh, beer. <laughs> I have a cold Norland's good. Not all on the blue alien call, or was it the other way? <laughs> you mean not not alien the blue so alien call? Oh, okay. Oh, that's sant. <laughs> all right, I get it. I get you. You know what? Should I go get a beer? No, wait, I... Oh, I think I actually drank the last one. Huh. Come on, Brady, fix the shields. You have 100% power allocation. Ugh. Oh, let me guess. We're supposed to wait. Oh, it, we're down to this again. The repair rate is so slow. We're going to have to wait until the efficiency bar is at least up to 50%. Damn it. Firehawk! How are you today? I love this game a lot. Awesome! I've actually never played this game before. So right now we're going through this game like... 
for the first time ever. So don't spoil anything, all right? Don't say anything. I'm trying to pick out my own, like, conversation route, so to speak. Um, but nice to have somebody of, of uh, who's a veteran of this game. I am uh, doing pretty badassly. Badassly. Is that even a name? Oh, name. Uh, word. Ooh, good. Well, must have another beer for this. What? You need to be drunk to, to see this? <laughs> Are you telling me you need to be drunk to partake in my stream? Uh, 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 is, is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> I have played this game when it came out, but never beaten it yet. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. How far did you get? Ah... Come on, shields! Total power? Really? Uh. Hmm. Damage control, yeah, okay. Um. Total power. Hold on. Okay. Total power to... Okay. Uh, system allocation. Will this, like, increase the rate of... The rate of repair. No, it will not. Oh. Cider does sound good right now. Cider, farty. I didn't. I didn't expect you to be a cider guy. <laughs> no, I don't, I'm just kidding. Cider can be good sometimes, but I. I actually haven't tr had a cider in. I don't know. Years. It's actually it's actually years. Um, if I have another beer, maybe the ship will be done faster. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Give Scotty the beer. That'll make him repair the ship faster. Or actually, it's Brady, but still. Um, just to mission twenty, I think. Well, well, that is actually um, almost at the end of the of the game. I think it's. I think there are like 21 missions or something. 22, perhaps. We did check. Um, we did check on the uh, on the walkthroughs because some things. Sometimes you actually have to do that, and I don't consider that cheating. Just because, like, sometimes you get stuck and you don't know what to do. You actually have to to uh, check that up. So I don't. I make no apologies for that. Um, Fart knocker never got used to beer. Is that so? I can tell you, I never, never liked beer when I was younger. Uh, and then I met my ex. And suddenly, beer was... Beer seemed like... A good escape. <laughs> um, I don't want to say she taught me how to drink. But still, I mean... There's some correlation going on there, you know. Before I met her, I was I was more of a more of a sugar sugar obsessed guy. Like I bought ice creams and stuff. I, I still do though. But um, there you go. Forty eight. Now let's check the damage. Yeah, it's still great. Actually, it. We need to wait. Yeah, we've reached 50, but I want to... I actually want to get up get up to 100. So let's have a little sh chat here. With chat. When the PC games that came out in the 1990s, there was no walkthrough back then. I know. And, uh... Like, I know. I, I remember. I was there. <laughs> um, I remember the hell... When you got stuck in something. I remember one thing in particular. I don't really know why. But uh, 
one thing that I got stuck on was uh, a Zelda game, uh, Link's Awakening. In one particular dungeon, you actually had to kill off uh, enemies in a certain order. Uh, I think it was Bottle Grotto, like the second dungeon. And I, I got, I was so stuck with that. I was like, which order do you do this? And, and it, of course, that was where you got the power bracelet. You actually needed that item. Um, so, and I hated that. And I would have killed for a walkthrough back then. Uh, same with PC games, obviously. Um, I will admit that walkthroughs, in a way, spoil a little bit. Uh, if you are playing a game like this, where your choices depend... No, the outcome depends on your choices. I mean, you really shouldn't be reading a walkthrough. And I don't... I don't read a wa the walkthrough until... Uh, I mean, until I actually uh, suspect that there's something going on here. There's something wrong with this. I can't do anything. I'm just flying around in the space and there's, like, no trigger to trigger the next, like, waypoint or something like that. Um, that's basically the only reason why I would uh, read the walkthrough. Um, other than that, we've been pretty good in this game. We've been uh, fighting our way through up to level... or level... Uh, mission... I think this is like mission 16 or something. Um, yeah, so... That's how it is. 63%. 64%. That's awesome. So, Firehawk, what are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to do this weekend? You have anything fun planned out? Give me some water. You know what? We can actually switch the scene just for now. Why not? Can we, though? I actually remember I disabled the numpad. Uh, there we go. There we go. Here we go! Don't worry, I'll tell you when... <laughs> when the shields are 100%. Let's see, I'm going to watch you and MLB TV. And the Toronto Raptors at 7 p.m. on my TV tonight. Okay, cool, cool. By the way, uh, another plug. <laughs> I already did it once, but uh, I can do it again. Tomorrow, I will be visiting a local science fiction convention in Stockholm, and I will be attending as a as a visitor, uh, and I will be live streaming from that convention. Now, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I am go I'm going to be using this, which is my almost five-year-old smartphone now, and I am unsure as to how long I will be able to live stream. So it might just be like a couple of minutes. I will, I will stress that. It might not be long at all before it like overheats or explodes in my hand or something. Um, but I will try to show you guys a little bit of the uh, convention, so to speak. It will be, uh, so to speak, it'll be interesting. And I do know what I'm looking for. It's gonna be fun. Play some of the 1981 and 1982 out of the park baseball season as well. All right, so you're, you're a big sports fan, are you? Cool, cool. We are currently at 77% efficiency with the shields. Uh, I have like five streams on my screen, so I will miss something. Girusuva, do you have like... Do you have five separate screens? So like a stream for each screen? Or do you have like uh, two screens... Two screams? Two screens and like four screens on one and one on the other or something like that. Yeah, you have Windows 
window in screen type of split things. I don't know. <laughs> yes, I am. I do play retro PC DOS games as well. Awesome. Awesome. That is basically what my channel is all about. I am very much in it for the retro games. Like one time or another, I, I might be doing a modern game. Like a couple of weeks ago, I did uh, a stream of uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Did a couple of missions and so on. But mostly, my channel is devoted to retro games. So we're talking PC, we're talking consoles, we're talking... Um, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Amiga. I actually haven't done another Amiga Mania episode. I have to do that. So. Two screens. Okay, so one screen is full of like... One screen has four streams, correct? Man, how can you follow all of them? Isn't that like just a jumble in your ears? Like just a, just a cacophony of, of sound. It's like my friend Simon. He has like... What was it? He had like, uh, yeah, he played. No, wait. What? What actually did he do? He he had something like that as well. No, actually, the exact same thing. Although maybe not as many um, streams, but yeah, I've never I've never um, been able to focus on more than one stream. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. 89% guys 89% Sorry 90 So we're getting there 10% left 10% to go eh. And when I'm when I'm looking down there well you know the drill when I'm looking down there I'm looking at the, at the chat and the preview window as well 92. Uh, I mute four and concentrate on one, like five minutes, and just keep it going. Okay, so you like switch and you focus on one, but isn't that like kind of defeating the purpose? I mean, you're still only watching one. Also, also, I kind of want to ask as well, isn't that like, doesn't that sort of like create a bottleneck in the bandwidth that everything will maybe like uh, become laggy or or like the bat the uh, like with the connection with the download rate if that much data is uh, is coming through 96 96 96 90 90 96 97, 97, 97, 90, 97%, 99, 99, 99%, 99, alright, I think it's time, time to stop fooling around here, I'm gonna switch over scene in just a moment, let me just see here if everything is good. Yes, it is. All right. Um, yeah, so here we go. Now. All right. So we're back. We're back. <sighs> I think... Uh, green. There we go. Good. All right, let's check the damage. There we go. Everything is awesome. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Everything is awesome when you live in the dream. I don't know. I do not usually do this, but it's Friday and it's good streams online with good games. Awesome and nice people. Well, thank you. I'm assuming you're including me in that. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's get cracking. Uh, course was uh, plotted, right?
Wait a minute. Was I supposed to stay behind and talk to that guy? I actually think I was supposed to do that. Uh, <laughs> can I go back? Show me. Uh, wait, where's the navigation? Navigation is... Is here. No, not there. Helm. Uh, Piaggi, what was it? And I, I'm really bad at using this system. Can I like zoom in? Oh, sorry. Okay. Plot course. How do I? How do I return? Firehawk. How do I return to the system I was just in? Un unleash the Kraken. You wish, just <laughs> Aw, thank you, Grusis. Thank you. Um, I wish I... I want to go back to the system I was in. <laughs> I was in. Current location. Piachi. <sighs> Whatever it is. Um... Okay, that's just the view. Uh, type the name of the system, I think. Well, that's awesome. Uh, except I don't remember the system name. We are in Piachi still. Wait, let's see if there's anything here, first of all. Ah, oh, he's here! He is here! Where is he? I mean, he is here, but, I mean, okay. That's the wrong way. Okay. Captain, I am scanning for the freighter we seek. It is orbiting the first planet of the system. Okay, I actually think we are on the right track. I thought we actually were supposed to stay there and try to... But now that... I think about it. I think I remember them saying that he was he was in another part of the system and that's actually where we warped to. Got it. Got it. Got it. Ooh, there he is. There he is. We got him. Blast his ass. Now we're actually going to question him. Thoros Greedly. Captain, the freighter is hailing us. No, I was green. I was gonna hail him. Starfleet, you must understand. I didn't do it. And I am French. Do what? Whatever it is that you're here to arrest me for. You Starfleet always come to me with your problems. Well, I mean, I cannot help that I am French because that will just make me out to be the bad guy. Okay, that was a horrible French accent, I know. Uh, That's not how Starfleet sees it. Maybe if you answer a few questions, I can lessen your time. I'm not here to arrest you. I just need to ask you a few questions. That's not how Starfleet sees it. Maybe if you answer a few questions, I can lessen your time. Well, it doesn't. That doesn't sound too, too uptight. So let's go with that one. You think I have no mind, Starfleet? I have done nothing wrong here. I guess you called my bluff. I'm here to ask you some questions. Well, that really doesn't matter, does it? You should be glad I don't just arrest you right now. Jesus! I guess you called my bluff. Depends on your question, Starfleet. It must be a big one if you've been trying this hard. I'm here about someone selling a Romulan artifact. Have you seen anything? Or just asking if you've seen anything unusual. <laughs> now I demand to know the truth. Yes, demand. That is the Starfleet way. <laughs> you know. Then kill him or launch him out of space. 
<laughs> Frappy, you, you are so violent. You're always this violent. I'm here about someone selling a Romulan artifact. Have you seen anything? That sounds more civilized. Maybe. What's it to you? It was stolen from Romulan space. They're gonna go to war with us unless we find it. Hmm. How do I know you're telling the truth? You have my word. <laughs> oh. I'll tell you this because I don't want trouble with the Empire as well. The person you're looking for is Captain Margaret Horn. Her ship is the Raven. How do I know I can trust you? You can't. But Horn left me out to dry on a deal a few months ago, and this is payback. You can find her in the Regis system, in front of the Triangle Nebula. Thanks for your help. No problem. You remember me the next time, okay, Starfleet? She says that she is busy at the moment. Wait a minute. What? What civilian? What civilian freighter? No response, Captain. Huh? Civilian freighter? What's going on? Are we being set up? Like, did he just run away to, like, not be here? Oh, Jesus. Where? where? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Holy oh, crap! Okay. Hit. Red alert! Sir, I need more time to fix the drive. What? Phasers are on. Life support is critical! Phasers are unavailable. Phasers are unavailable. Photon oh. torpedoes are not available, Captain. What?! Phasers are operational again, Captain. Didn't we Phasers repair are the ship? Ready to fire on your orders. Phasers are unavailable. Photon torpedoes are not available, Captain. Oh, for fuck's sake! We've completed repairs on the phasers, Captain. Oh, yeah. No response, Captain. Lower shields are critical, sir! Come on, give me photon torpedoes. Our shields are critical, sir. Photon tubes at fifty percent efficiency. Yeah, well, I can still, I still can't fire. Still can't fire. Okay. They don't want to surrender, do they? There you go. Captain President Lee is hailing us. Captain Forrester, we are appalled at Miss White's unspeakable behavior. If you were watching and you feel as bad as you do, <laughs> why didn't you help us? Exactly. We were not informed of the incident until now. Ah. <laughs> as I said, I am appalled at such an act. And what about the Romulan? You want to apologize to her also? Nope. We do not ask forgiveness from monsters. Ooh. We have the coordinates for the Regis system. Corn, let's get out of here. Oh, that's right. His name is Corrin. Um, can I hail the ambassador? She says that she is busy at the moment. Oh, okay. Forward shields repaired. Well, then screw her too. Um, okay. So <laughs> fire back. Yeah, the problem was that I could I forgot to go to red alert. <laughs> that was actually the first time in a long while. 
that. I forgot about that. Let's check the uh, damage. Ooh, I see. Well, the warp drive needs to be repaired before I can even go to warp drive. Or go to warp. Go Life to support warp. system online. Right. Lower shields repaired. That's good. That's good. Well, the Confederates have Delta and Omega Squadron protecting the platform. But they're nothing compared to my Alpha Squadron, boys. Bonus points if you get that reference. Wow. Not not the shields again. The shields are always the only thing that like cannot be repaired fast enough for We've some. We've completed reason. repairs on the warp drive, sir. Uh, oh, let's check the energy. Oh, efficient efficiency. Z z nothing. Fifteen percent. Yay! The problem is I don't even know if I'm gonna be fighting anymore in this uh, in this mission or not. I do, I do, I do not want to um, enter into an iffy situation without sufficient shield coverage. Seventy percent. That's like, nope. <laughs> Get better shields, bro. I mean, I would. If I could like requisition Stardog to to like refit, like get some get some proper shields, but I don't think you can do that in this in this game, to be honest. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Twenty percent. <laughs> what if I? Add on We've the completed repairs on the tractor beam, sir. What if we add on the emergency power? Nope. Hey, Firehawk, do you know what the emergency power is all about? Because I've never had to use that. <laughs> hmm. Emergency power. Power. Maybe we should just go. Go, go, go. By the way, anybody know how to uh, network a computer with your already... S uh, with your uh, stationary computer, like if you already have a stationary computer and you get a new laptop, how do you uh, how do you like network them together? I'm trying to do that right now, but uh, seems to be like everybody's talking about. Oh, <laughs> thanks for the host, Preppy. Thanks for the host. Like I'm trying to. Uh, I'm trying to uh, network uh, my, the laptop to uh, with my uh, computer, my PC, my stationery. Uh, this one, basically. Um, and people have been talking about something something called home group. You're supposed to create a home group in Windows 10 and then add the new computer, uh, the laptop, to that home group. Um, even though that one is actually Windows 7. But now, uh, with the latest Windows update, it appears that the home group function has been removed for some reason. <sighs> Turning on file sharing and jumping through some hoops. Okay, I like. I just wanna. I just want the network to show up when I open up. You know. Uh, the network places in in the uh, in the computer window, you know, um, the local host and all that, just access each other, file sharing, just just basically what you're saying, Fartknocker, just being able to share files and whatnot um, over 
wireless because I don't have them connected uh, through Ethernet. So I'm thinking like wire wireless network. Um, I don't know. Maybe get more power to all systems. All systems. I you know I have to sort of like balance the power. <gasps> Excuse me. I can't let like give 100% power to all the systems. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. Welcome to the jungle. We got funny games. Uh home group is a thing. A thing? <laughs> yeah, I've uh I've actually watched some videos on YouTube about like home group and and uh that's how you network Windows 10 in Windows 10 and whatnot, but apparently, like, they, they're telling, they're, they've said that, like, they're, you can't do that anymore. You can't go into the network's uh, settings and add, or, like, uh, create a home group or add, or do whatever it is, because that option just isn't there anymore. Um, so, I don't know. I'm going to have to do some more research, but I think it, like, it would be cool to have sort of a local network here between the stationary PC and the laptop. Um, come on. 44. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go. Uh, wait. Um, there we go. And also, we're going to need to... Yeah, exactly. That one. Good. And that one. Yeah, good. Okay, good. Perfect. All right. So, did they set a new course? I think so, didn't they? Hey, where did the Romulan go, by the way? Huh. They just disappeared. All right. Captain, I'm picking up four ships on long-range sensors. Two are Romulan birds of prey, and the last ship appears to be the Raven. They are at the edge of the neutral zone. Holy crap! Captain, one of the Romulans is running, and the Raven has closed. Fascinating. I did not know a ship of that size could generate enough power to use a cloaking device. Forward shields repaired. All right, hold on. Oh, well, now the forward shields are repaired. Come on. There we go. Lower shields have been hit. Starboard shields have been hit. Forward shields have been hit. Starboard shields repaired. Oh! Shields repaired. Lower shields repaired. Did I hit? What? Did I? Lower shields have been hit. Forward shields have been hit. Huh. Can't use the phasers. Starboard shields down to 50%. Reason. Lower Damn shields it. repaired. Forward shields repaired. What about phasers? Dude. Do you like Star Trek? Absolutely. That's why I'm playing it. Starboard shields down to 50%. Forward shields have been hit. Lower shields repaired. Life support system offline. What was that? That was a little bit weird. Oh! I can't. Oh! I'm sitting. Phases I'm a ready, sitting Captain. duck. Oh, Phases finally! Ready, Captain. Forward shields repaired. <sighs> Forward shields have been hit. Okay, I can't actually. Starboard shields, forward shields down, upper shields are critical, sir. Forward shields down to 50%. Yeah, we're not getting out of this alive, I think. Upper shield. No response, Captain. Alright, fine. fine. Forward shields down to 50%. Forward shields are critical, 
sir. Floor shields are critical, sir. Phasers are online again. Fire on your orders. Floor shields have been hit. Wow. Klingon? Captain, the Klingon commander is hailing us using audio only. Really? It is a logical assumption that he does not want us to know who he is. Well, let's hear what he has to say. Open hailing frequencies. Huh. I am Captain Forrester of the USS Ranger. If he wants to fight, I do not we're care dead. Who you are? I demand to know where my shipment is. Your shipment. Captain Horn promised that we would meet here to negotiate for the artifact. But you would know that if you're not with Horn. Of course not. And we're Horn's dead. Integrity is a critical, sir. Yeah, we're we're not gonna make it. We can't move. Like at all. Upper shields have been hit. I mean, we're dead in the water. We can fire. That's basically the only thing we can do. We can't move or anything. Upper shields repaired. <laughs> that guy again with these shields. Yeah, I know, right? Forward shields repaired. We've completed repairs on the tractor beam, sir. What about propulsion? I can't move. Oh. There he is. That shield system is damaged, Captain. That shield system is damaged, Captain. Characters are working on it. Life support system online. Shields online. Forward shields online. Do you need help from the U.S. Enterprise? Yes, I would actually like to get some help here. Uh, you are in space, not the water bearded one. I'm dead in space then. Although we're not dead yet, but you know what I mean. Or we, we're st we're stopped we've stopped in our tracks. Whoa! Forward shields are critical. Yeah, we're gone. There we go. Well, I'm sorry to say that your ship was lost in the mission. But look at it this way. Even the best of us did this when we went to the academy. Just remember that in life, you get no second chance. Dun, dun, That's a dun. bit disappointing, isn't it? Chin up, cadet. We've all failed our missions at some point or another. Just do better next time. Just get good. Get good. <laughs> All right, so yeah, okay, we know a little bit more now. Dead space. Welcome, class. Captain's log. Course laid in, Captain. Let's do this again, then, shall we? Don't mind if I do. All right, let's do this again then. But we really need to wait before we Sir, go to the next place. we're being hailed by the leader place. of Piachi too. She says that it's urgent. On screen. Like we really need to wait before I repairs have been Lee, completed. President of the Piachi two. Before we move into that How may territory. I be of service? It's good to speak to you, President Lee. I'm Captain David Forrester of the USS Ranger, and my communications officer said that you wish to speak to me. Yes, Captain. You have our complete cooperation. However... What, President? Certain factions within Piachi 2 have issues with the Romulans. Yeah, okay. Wonderful. Sturrock, any sign of a Romulan friend? No, Captain. Sir, a Romulan warbird is decloaking. This is Captain David Forrester of the USS Ranger. I'm here to- I know why you're here, Captain. Believe me, neither of us want to be here. I propose that we simply try to get this over as quickly as possible. I have a few questions. I have neither the authority nor the inclination to answer your pathetic questions. We need to find the thief and prevent a war between our worlds. 
Captain, I am scanning for the freighter we seek. It is orbiting the first planet of the system. Course laid in, Captain. Captain, there are three ships coming our way. My name is Harmony White. I have come on behalf of the people of Piachi too. If you me is a what? But the Romulan. <laughs> what will you do? What else? Listen. <laughs> and my offer is rescinded. Warp, in warp engines at fifty percent. Offer shield. That shield. Don't fly into them. I can't believe I'm doing that. Oh my lord. That is exactly how you lose mobility. Propulsion. Sis. That's a great start. Perfect start. Lower shields have been hit. Uh, what did I say? Do not fly into them. Well, too bad for her. Hold on. Uh, lower the shield. Here we gotta get my car from shop. All right, take care, fart knocker. I'll be here. Uh, I don't know how far along, but I want to beat this mission in, uh, at the very least. But uh, I'm, otherwise, you're always welcome back. Uh, I think I must go and get some sleep. Only three hours last night, and work on that. Yay! But this was so freaking fun to see. Well, Kirusuva, take care, and remember tomorrow I am gonna try to live stream from the science fiction convention so be there or i mean be here or be square take care man you're always welcome back <laughs> Watch out. Forward shields repaired. There we go. Good. Oh. She says that she's busy at the moment. Alright, you know what? We're we're busy as well. We need to repair. Uh, repair again. It's so much fun to repair. Look at this warp. Actually, shield isn't that bad. No, they're ac they actually well, they're not red at least. Um, let's do this. Then. No, lock shields into place. There you go. All right. Uh, I will try, and we see on Sunday. Yeah, that's right. Take care, man. I want to be a circle. Okay, Freppy, you have been drinking, right? <laughs> You're saying things that I really don't understand. You want to be a circle? Could you clarify this for me? <laughs> like, I can see, like, watching up in the sky, you know, and just, dude, I would like to be, you know, like, like a circle uh, and then like you know because then I'd be like whole <laughs> we got our engines back online captain mm. you can take her into warp anytime now thank you hoping that will be uh, the consistent message throughout this throughout the remainder of the uh, the mission Come on, shields. 51. Boom, boom. 52. Boom, boom. No, 51. 52. Boom, boom. Yeah. Hmm. 
You said to be square. <laughs> oh, you mean that. Oh, oh, the puns. The puns. Oh. So, guys. Any sa tech savvy people. Uh, Farty, for instance. Oh, no. He went to get his car. Damn it. But I'm thinking, like, if anybody else knows, I I do have this uh, this old laptop given to me by my friend. It's pretty interesting, and it's uh, pretty fun to try to at least network it together. But besides the network issue, I've been thinking, like, that, comp that PC has, uh, that laptop has Windows 7 as an OS. How much RAM do you require to run Windows uh, Windows 7 because the laptop how mu no how much RAM uh, RAM memory do you need or uh, no okay here goes how much RAM does a laptop usually come with like what is the minimum amount And I'm talking to people who are not freppy. <laughs> you're like, you're just like being out there. Right now, we're, like I got it, and it has like three gigs of RAM. At first, I was like, that sounds a little bit on the light side. And it is sort of acting up a little bit. Um. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't cry, Freppy. And you've only been drinking water tonight, have you? That's... I find that... a little bit questionable. <laughs> you know? But then, cheers, Freppy. Cheers. And I will be missing you on the... or at the uh, convention tomorrow. Sixty-seven percent. Percent, Captain. <whistles> yep, and some Pepsi Max. Okay. Pepsi Max. Oh my lord, that was a long time ago. I haven't dry I haven't been drinking Pepsi Max also for a couple like a lot of years. Like just like with uh, cider. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> so, Freppy, when does your uh, daughter get back? Or when does your do when would you pick up your daughter? Is that tomorrow, or or something? Or Sunday? Maybe Sunday, or maybe Monday. I have a sugar rush. Well, then why would you be drinking Pepsi Max? There's no sugar in Pepsi Max. You know? <laughs> On Sunday. Alright, cool. Seventy-three. Firehawk, are you still there? Are you still there, my brother? My brother! Placebo. Oh, it's placebo. Okay. Placebo effect. Got it. Got it. I wonder... I actually wonder why the shields take so freaking long to regenerate. I mean, this is worse than what we did in Nightcaster. Nightcaster with the, heal, uh, with the light rune. I mean, that didn't even go this slow. <laughs> so, we're gonna be playing Bionic Commando on Sunday. CNET wished that. CNET, that is CNET's uh, stream boss request. That's gonna be interesting. Have you guys ever played Bionic Commando before? I have, like, 
like with many of these games, I've actually never really played it uh, properly. I've only just like been at a friend's house and tried it, tried it a little bit. When I was like, I don't know, 10, 11 maybe. Come on! <laughs> I've been so bored, I wanna play! It's just so annoying because you actually have to uh, wait for the shields to regenerate um, because we are going into battle and if we don't have 100% uh, shield um, if we don't have the shields operating at 100% efficiency um, that is not to our advantage that is not a good thing, you know. It's just so boring to be waiting for the shields to regenerate. Frappy, say something interesting. <laughs> I'm supposed to be entertaining, but, like... Right now, I can't even entertain myself. <laughs> you know? Hey, at least we're up to 90% now. <laughs> Freppy, you know what? I actually have a video of me and you when we're at your your old place here in Yudru and we were completely wasted we were drunk so drunk and we're talking about like turtles and you Gordon and we're just we're talking into the camera and we're you can see we're we're completely messed up that's that's a pretty interesting video <laughs> Yeah, we did that. That's so fun. So much fun to see. No, actually, it's a little bit embarrassing as well. <laughs> so, how do you how do you like your new place in Hamden, by the way? Is it uh, is it awesome? I would expect. I also want to move to Hamden. All right, ninety-seven percent. Good. Ah. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? Uh, yes. Alright, we can bring that one down to 2%. Awesome. That was a fun night. Yeah, it was. It was. Actually, I agree. Oh, look at that. We have the uh, Romulan ship there. Alright. Well, I suppose we are to warp. <laughs> Alright, um... There you go. Captain, I am scanning for the freighter we seek. It is orbiting the first planet of the system. Alright, hail, hail him. No response, Captain. Okay. We're gonna see if we can hail... Oh, that's right, he's gonna be hailing us, actually. It's nice and good to live near Santrum. Yeah, I suppose so. So jealous. <laughs> well, you haven't missed much here in Yudbru. Actually, there uh, there are new uh, apartments here. Like, new high-rise high buildings in Yudbru Santrum. They're, and they're done now, by the way. They they have uh, People have already Captain, the moved freighter in. is hailing us. On screen. On screen. Starfleet, you must... Yeah, okay, we know this. That's not how Starfleet sees it. Maybe if you answer a few... You think I have... <laughs> I guess you called my... Depends on your quest. I'm here about someone selling a Romulan artifact. Maybe. Alright, let's go. Come on. 
Okay. Starboard shields have been hit. Starboard shields repaired. Forward shields have been hit. Starboard shields have been hit. Forward. Starboard shields have been hit. We've got starboard. Upper shields have been hit. Starboard shields have been hit. Starboard. Starboard shields have been hit. We've got starboard. Lower shields have been hit. Lower shields have been hit. Good. Port side shields have been hit. Port side shields repaired. Holy shit! Forward shields have been hit. Forward shields repaired. Lower shields repaired. Like I do not want to. I do not want to uh, crash into them. Shields repaired. Forward shields have been hit. Upper shields have been hit. Upper shields repaired. Where's the Romulan, by the way? Did she go away? Gotcha. Good. Crystals are realigned, Captain. Warp drives are ready. Oh, that's not... Wait, there's another ship that I'm actually not... Okay, well, let, let's go then. And a car fire last night in you... Really? I didn't know that, actually. I live here and I don't even know Captain, what's going on. Captain, I'm picking up four ships on long-range sensors. Two are Romulan birds of prey, and the last ship appears to be the Raven. They are at the edge of the neutral zone. Captain, one of the Romulans is running, and the Raven is cloaked. I did not know a ship that size could generate enough power to use a cloaking device. What the hell? I'm just gonna go around in a circle. Forward shields repaired. It can't really lock on to us when when we just go around in a circle. Upper shields have been hit. All integrity is a critical so Oh Well, I'm sorry to say that your ship was lost in the mission. But look at it this way. Even the best of us, that's a how am I supposed to do that if they just come careening towards me? Like, I couldn't help that. God damn it. Captain's log. Course laid in, Captain. God damn it. This is, this is starting to get more annoying than it is fun, you know? Sir, we're being hailed by the leader of Piachi 2. She says that it's yeah, urgent. Okay. On screen. Wonderful. Sturrock, any sign of a Romulan friend? No, Captain. Sir, a Romulan warbird is decloaking. No response, Captain. Captain, I am scanning for the freighter we seek. It is orbiting the first planet of the system. Course laid in, Captain. Yeah, 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 whatever. Um... Captain, there are three ships coming our way. Captain, the freighter is hailing us. My name is Harmony. Uh. Yes, what? Lee is a fool. What? But the wrong. What will you do? What else? To listen to. And my offer is. Don't drop shields. Oh, fuck. Photon tubes have been photon tubes at fifty percent efficiency. Phasers are operational, Captain. Photon torpedoes are not available, Captain. Phasers are unavailable. Okay, you know what? That is something. That is another thing that is annoying to me. Uh, 
that you actually have to go to Red Alert. Yes, I know it's awesome. It's it's like very immersive. It is so of the core of the entire show, but still, like, it's so annoying. Can't they just automatically go to Red Alert when I am being attacked? Because, uh, yeah, okay, never mind. Upper shields have been hit. Upper shields repaired. Oh. Upper shields have been hit. Upper shields repaired. Starboard shields repaired. Forward shields down to fifty percent. That shield system is damaged, Captain. Repair crews are working on it. Port side shields have been hit. Upper shields are repaired. Port shields have been hit. Port shields repaired. Port shields online. Port shields online. Okay, so propulsion is working, all right, fine, um, uh, okay, green alert. Starboard let's, shields repaired. Let's check the... Forward shields repaired. Let's give me a damage report. All right. Not that I really need the, the tractor beam for this mission, I don't think so, at least. Um, all right, nope. The warp drives are fit as a fiddle now, Captain. Well, that is good. This, uh, this game is being a little bit f annoying. Oh, look at that. Everything is... Wait a minute. What? Already? I didn't take that many hits. That's good, though, but still, like... Huh. We've completed repairs on the tractor beam, sir. All right. Well then, I'm. I guess. Uh, let's just see. Eighty-eight. All right. All right. Let's uh, do this then. Go. Tractor beam. All right, so uh, let's see if we can do this correctly this time. No response, Captain. No, because we're too far away. Freppy, could you put? Uh, could you input the uptime command? Because I kind of want to see if I can if I can determine how long I've been streaming for. 
right now I can't tab out from this game so just want to make sure that I can do it okay no response captain okay have been hit. We can't use tractor beams unless we're at green alert. I haven't used tractor beams. And we are at green alert. Okay, this, this game doesn't really follow its own rules. Yeah, let's repair some more. Why not? Thanks, Freppy. Uh, two hours, 25 minutes. Okay, that's good. <sighs> That's so annoying. You know, you know, one of the worst things with this game is that if you only bump into a ship, you get massive damage. Like, you, you get red sectors and, and you get... Sectors? You get red... Um, uh, red systems and, and all that. Okay, now it's not too, too bad, but still, it's like... Ugh. And worst case scenario, you actually blow up your ship. Or you, you crash the ship completely. You total your ship. Uh, impulse, tractor beam. Ugh. Do 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 do. I want to be. I want this mission to be over, actually. This is an annoying mission. Ah, shields are at 100% at least. What about uh, propulsion? Impulse. Captain, the freighter is hailing us. Oh, oh screen. finally! Starfleet, you must understand, I... That's not how Star... <sighs> I'm not here to arrest you. I just need to... You're certain you're not here to arrest me? Well then, what's your question? Just ask... I'm here about... Maybe. What's it to you? We've completed repairs on the tractor beam, sir. Forward shields have been hit. 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 Forward shields have Good. Ah. Oh, Upper sorry. Have been hit. Upper shields repaired. Forward shields repaired. Captain President Lee is hailing us. Finally. Captain Forrester, we are appalled at Miss White's unspeakable behavior. If you were watching, and you feel as bad as you do, why didn't you help us? We were not informed of the incident until now. As I said, I am appalled at such an act. And what about the Romulan? You want to apologize to her also? We do not ask forgiveness from monsters. Mm -hmm. coordinates for the Regis system. Corn, let's get out of here. Actually... She says that she is busy at the moment. Okay, um, we still need to be at red alert. Um, let's see if the systems are up to um, are up to the challenge. No, of course, the stupid shields. Every single time. Forward shields repaired. They are. 
What about the efficiency? There's like no way of doing this properly. We've completed repairs on the warp drive, sir. God damn it. I hate this. Efficiency. <sighs> you know what? I'm not going to care anymore. I don't care about that. Um, I'm just going to make sure that uh, uh, system out. Just go to 100. Okay. There we go. Um, or something like that. I don't know. Go to level. <laughs> Alright, we're going to jump and encounter that stupid. Okay. We're going to target them as quickly as we can. Here we go. Captain, I'm picking up four ships on long-range sensors. Two are Romulan birds of prey, and the last ship appears to be the Raven. They are at the edge of the neutral zone. Captain, one of the Romulans is running, and the Raven has cloaked. Fascinating. I did not know a ship of that size could generate enough power to use a cloaking device. Oh, I got her? Really? No response, Captain. <laughs> Die! Or something. Oh, she's still dead in the... That's ridiculous. Oh, that is ridiculous! Captain, the Klingon command I cannot the use audio only. impulse engines again. To know who he is. Well, let's hear what he has to say. I bumped Open it. Open handling oh. frequencies. I am Captain Forrester of the USS Ranger. I do not care who you are. I demand to know where my shipment is. Your shipment. Captain Horn promised. <laughs> Lower shields are critical, sir. That shield system is damaged, Captain. Air crews are working. Your support system online. For some reason, from... Okay. Look. Look at this stupid thing. Lower shields online. Why is tractor beam at... Repair. Just repair, alright? Ugh. <gasps> Oh, 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 thank you. Thank you for s That shield system is damaged, Captain. Repair crews are working on it. Life support Heavy casualties on all decks. Great. All integrity is critical, sir. Reports of casualties on... Well, I'm sorry to say that your ship was lost in the mission. But look at it this way. Even the best of us did this when we went to the academy. Okay, that was Just weird. remember that in life, you get no second chance. That's a bit disappointing. Welcome, class. Captain's log. Course laid in, Captain. <sighs> this is so annoying. This is the big fault with this game. You can't save during missions. You have to do everything from the beginning once more. Like, the motivation has completely gone out of this. My, my... God 
God damn it. Okay, let's let me check the walkthrough just to make sure I'm not doing anything wrong. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. mission you should set your ship for combat set your repair rates to 100% on shields life support phasers torpedoes and hull and zero on wait what oh that's the sh repair rates oh it is oh, okay i get it i get it i get it um phasers torpedoes and hull and zero on tractor beams don't forget to set Phasers to 110% power. Oh, okay. When you are done, go to condition green, warp to the blah 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 blah. One of the Piaggi, you will be hailed by the leader of the Piaggi colony after you get done tracking their Admiral Tennis ships. You know what? No, I don't need any walkthrough with this because the only thing that is happening constantly, all over again, every single time. I bump into the stupid ship and I cannot move because, oh, you know what? You tap this ship slightly on her behind and suddenly we have massive power failure. We can't move. Propulsion is shot to hell. And, and I'm just a sitting duck. So let's do this again, shall we? The annoying thing also is why can't you have a preset for this? Why do you always, always, every single time have to do this manually? That is annoying. Um, Alright, uh, phasers. Power allocation! Um, alright, let's go. Let's do this. I'm thinking this is gonna be my final try. If I don't get it now, if I don't do it correctly, uh, I... Yeah, we're gonna do this one more time. If I don't get... If I don't make it, I'm gonna log off and, and do this next week instead. Because this is seriously draining all the fun of it of, out of it. It's just like when... With, um... Secret of Mana, when I get frustrated enough, then suddenly the fun is gone and I just perceive the gameplay itself kind of like a chore. So, in order to not, like, get mad at the game too much uh, and spoil it, I'm, I'm going to try it one more time. If I don't make it, then I'll see you tomorrow, <laughs> you know? Okay. Here we go. Like a man can only stand so much before he snaps. Sir, we're being hailed by the leader of Piachi 2. She says that it's urgent. On screen. Yada yada yada. Sturk, any sign of a Romulan friend? No, Captain. Sir, a Romulan warbird is decloaking. Yada, yada, Captain, yada. I'm scanning for the freighter we seek. It is orbiting the first planet of the system. Course laid in, Captain. Go. Captain, there are three ships coming our way. Captain, the freighter is hailing us. My name is Harmony White. I'm already gone. I'm on behalf of the people. If you please, what? The Romulan. <laughs> I don't have. And my offer is rescinded. Well, we're already gone. That's interesting. We could actually skip that fight. Huh. Or maybe not. 
No, actually, okay. They actually chased after us. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> uh, don't tell me. Are the photon torpedoes already gone? My god. Okay, good. That shield system is damaged, Captain. Repair crews are working on it. We did we repairs on the tractor beam, sir? Forward shields repaired. Did we bump in her? Four shields on. That shield system is damaged, Captain. Repair crews are working on it. All right, show me. Phases are online again, ready to fire on your orders. Upper shields online. Goddamn shields. Alright, they're online. You know what? Then I don't care about that. I'm thinking uh, in the future, I'm not I'm not gonna care about it looking it looking uh, about it being red. Um, More shields repaired. Wait, where's the... There's another civilian freighter? Oh. No response, Captain. No response, Captain. Upper she says that she's busy at the moment. Well, where is... Oh, my. Don't tell me we're gonna have to. Okay. No response, Captain. Okay, so. Wait. Where is he? Let's go find him. Crystals are realigned, Captain. Warp drives are ready. Oh, he's somewhere in this. Oh, there he is. Okay. Captain, the freighter is hailing us. Good. Screen. Finally. Starfleet, you must understand. I didn't do. That's not how Starfleet. That's not. <laughs> I guess. Depends on your question, Star. I'm here about some. Maybe. What's it to you? It was stolen from Romulan space. All right, there we go, and it's time to fight again, I guess. Why do they always get out of warp so damn close? Warp engines have been hit. Tractor beams have been hit. Have no. been hit. Oh god. We've the the There's a lot of fighting in this mission, actually. Upper shields have been hit. Upper shields repaired. I don't care. I want to kill these things. Upper shields have been hit. Just Upper shields make repaired. sure that you do not bump into them. You know? Oh. Good. Next. Good. We've completed repairs on the warp drive, sir. There you are, you piece of. I'm not gonna have a potty mouth. 
Oh, now they I completed repairs on the tractor beam, sir. What? Hello. Good. Watch it, don't fly into her. Good. Captain, President Lee is hailing us. Captain Forrester, we are appalled at Miss White's unspeakable behavior. I'm sure if you, you are. were watching and you feel as bad as you do, why didn't you help us? We were not informed of the incident until now. As I said, I am appalled at such an act. And what about the Romulan? You want to apologize to her also? <clears throat> we do not ask forgiveness from monsters. We have the coordinates for the Regis system. Corn, let's get out of here. Okay, so let me just check the. Uh... Hey, look at that! Everything is in the green. Let's try to keep it that way, okay? This time. Let's try to keep it that way. Or at least, let's not fly into people. Okay. Target the raven as soon as you can. More Romulans? Magia, hail Tenek and ask her what's going on. She says that she is busy at the moment. Captain, one of the Romulans is running. And the Raven has cloaked. Fascinating. I did not know a ship of that size could generate enough power to use a cloaking device. Forward shields repaired. Come on, we can do this. Portside shields online. Starboard shields have been hit. Lower shields have been hit. Lower shields have been hit. That shield system is damaged, Captain. Repair crews are working. Upper shields are at critical, sir. No, no, no. Forward shields repaired. Did we? Phasers are operational again, Captain. Lower Did we? Shields are critical, sir. The tractor beam system is at 50%. Forward shields are at 50%. That shield Good. system is damaged, Captain. Repair. McGee. Hail Admiral Tenek, and don't take no for an answer this time. Already doing it. On screen. What? We never got this before. Admiral Tenek, I demand to know what is going on. Admiral, Ad Te Admiral Tenek, we can't work together if you hold things back from me. What was that attack all about? Admiral Tenek, I demand to know what's going on. Admiral Tenek, we can't work together if you hold things back from me. What was that attack all about? Okay. The bird of prey you just defeated was the Gallius. According to my records, it was destroyed over a month ago. I have no further information. What? Romulan secret okay. to now ghost ships? Captain, there's a Klingon D7 decloaking off our starboard bow. Great. Now what? Captain, the Klingon commander oh, is hailing shit. us. Shit, it's a Using heavy, audio only. It is cruiser. a logical assumption that he does not want us to know who he is. Well, let's hear what he has. I didn't... Your captain... <laughs> Magia, ask the Klingon to surrender. Sir, logic dictates that the Klingon will not surrender easily. We have to try. Hailing frequencies open, Captain. Soon your Starfleet will fear the wrath of the Klingon Empire. Soon a new day will dawn, and we will crush all our enemies. Okay. Now what, Captain? Yeah, now exactly. We go back, Jeff. Course laid in, Captain. 
Okay. What about the... Okay, never mind. <laughs> like, I have no idea what's going on. Upper but, shields repaired. But, okay, fine. <laughs> I'm just glad this mission is over. Hopefully. We'll see what happens. Uh, hail Starbase. Hailing frequency open. Mission accomplished, Starfleet. You did not capture Captain Horn, but sometimes it is what you find during a meeting that can be of the most value. Okay. Don't be discouraged quite yet. You have done exceptionally well on this mission. You should receive commendations. Well, thank you. Thank you. At least somebody ac appreciates this. <laughs> Oh. I'm going to save number three as well. Uh, yes. Oh, that was... That was annoying. That mission was annoying, actually. Okay, so who's still in the chat? Actually, I think I'm going to be logging off anyway. Yeah, I got some people who want to talk to me. All right. Uh, <laughs> that almost said, like, I got some people waiting to talk to me. <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. Um, but anyway, Freppy, yo, man, yo. Um, I think I will be uh, calling it a night here. Um, hold on. We did save, right? Game save, game save. Sometimes my OCD just gives me, like, obsessive compulsive behavior. Let's save again, just one more time. <laughs> there we go. Um, Alright, so we're gonna... Okay, we're gonna quit here. We're gonna keep on going uh, with Starfleet Academy next Friday. Alright, that's all awesome. Later, Fireborn, he says. And he uh, says later, and he says, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, this was awesome. This was finally, we actually got the... Uh, um, thank you, there we go. Okay. Um, finally, we got the... No, stop that. Stop, stop it. What are you doing? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna have to... Hold on. Just need to do this here. That's four. Perfect. Now everything works. Jesus. Okay, so that's about it for tonight. Um, I want you guys to take care of yourselves, and remember, tomorrow, next time you see me stream tomorrow, I will be attending the science fiction convention here in Stockholm, Sweden, and I will be, uh, I do not, I say again, I do not know for how long I will be streaming, it might be as short as just a couple of minutes, uh, because of <laughs> fail failing hardware, um, so, but... Be sure to catch me then. I might have something good for you. I want you guys to at least get the gist of how things look over there. And maybe get uh, catch some glimpse of some cool cl cosplayers or something. Um, with that said, I hope you have a great Friday night. And uh, yeah, see you tomorrow. It's going to be interesting. Take care and remember to keep the retro legacy alive. Good night.